What's going on YouTube? It is JV and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing my room tour as of 2023. Alright Ace Army, thank you for clicking on this video. We got a great video planned. I know a lot of you wanted to see my room tour, so we are doing it. We're rocking the Dan Housen t-shirt from the Pro Wrestling Crate. So let's get right into this so I don't waste none of your time. Starting off, we have my door here and I have my work stuff, I have my work hat, my name tag, my key to my apartment, and this bag I can put stuff in. And then here's my name tag, Passion is Pro Wrestling. If you know me, you know that's my hobby. But moving over, we got my Britt Baker towel hung up by some like pins, what are they called? Tacks, thumbtacks, whatever, not thumbtacks, but you know what I mean? But this also has a back to it. It has the LFG DMD side. But I thought the and new side would be kind of cool. And let's actually try this camera shutout. This would be cool. But next up is my closet. And we're going to open this bad boy up. Up top, you see a bunch of old Xbox 360 games, PS2 games, and a bunch of wrestling pay-per-view DVDs with some card boxes and just shit everywhere. As you can see, my yearbooks from school. And then below here, we have my jersey collection, which will be a video in the coming weeks. Don't know when yet, but I'm sure it will come soon. Some uniform stuff. And then all my t-shirts. Look at all those black t-shirts. Found that nuts. But Liv Morgan starts off the t-shirt collection. And who does it end off with? Sting from one of the pro wrestling crates. And then some fancy shirts that I could wear here and there. But going on down, just some random stuff like... Brodus Clay fight buddy here. Like, there's just random stuff thrown in here. Extra work hats and just shit thrown everywhere. Dress shoes. But that is it for the closet. Nothing really special. But moving on, dirty clothes. We don't really care about that. But I need to get a new calendar because December 2022 is over. But I'm going to be getting a new Pittsburgh Steelers one eventually. Going on down, we have my DMD Pittsburgh towel. And the like effect you see coming in through the shot. Is just because my blinds are closed that's the only thing but going over here we have my desk it's kind of populated right now with a bunch of things but we have my xbox one 360 my wallet some extra cards here this coupon i need to keep um a dvd my tripod two xbox controllers my jimmy hater koozie just in case i need that sometime soon my headset my PS4 and PS2, and then just some backup controllers here in case I have people over. But below that is just that tangled mess with my garbage can. Going over here, we have my box of cards. This has no cards in it. It just has the packs and it has every box I've ever opened. So the AEW ones aren't in here, but like I have NBA Illusions here. So that's in there. But going up is my window seal with a bunch of cards that I have to put away, as you can see. Napkins, Panera cards, a lot of stuff here that I just have thrown around. But we have my where I sit, but right now it's just cluttered with a bunch of my hats in my hat collection. Another Xbox 360 controller. And then all these figure boxes, but these AEW ones are the ones I have. So if you want to pause there to see who I have in the collection... Feel free to do so, but those WWE ones are all out of the box. And then this little bag here is just some accessories. And then moving over here, we have my Big Cass autograph and my Joy Porter autograph. I know it's upside down, but those are framed and will be going somewhere soon. Prison Mike poster, which I do not know where to put yet. Card sleeves, card binder. Speaking of card binders, we have a lot there. My AW card binder, which you guys saw me assembling throughout the AW card unboxing videos. But moving up from the card binder, we have every single WrestleMania from 1 to 26, AW Double or Nothing, a Ring of Honor pay per view there, some stickers, Shawn Michaels My Journey DVDs, Pro Wrestling Crate thing, Penguin Puck from the game I went to because I'm trying to collect those now since they don't pass out the game day programs. But and then just some sport DVDs. But going on up here. We have my favorite football games pretty much of all time. Some sport cards, as you know, I'm a big card collector. Some of my favorites there, like number cards and autographs. 
jersey cards, more number cards, rookie cards, all my Maddens and WWEs from the PS2 era, some pro wrestling trade autographs that I have to frame, but the gun over here, my the two best wrestling games of all time, seal or not sealed, but disc, manual, everything included, all the pins from the pro wrestling crate, all the micro brawlers that I've gotten so far, and then this baller brawl thing, those little mini figures, but look at all those pins that I have to find something to do with. But moving up, we have all my Xbox One slash Xbox Series X games, my PS4 games, and then that's where I put the AEW card boxes. Here's 2021, 2022, and then my WWE card boxes. And then some coins I have to take to get some cash bills out of that. This AW Pittsburgh thing that I got a discount. Some card sleeves or like things to put the sleeves in. Wrestling tickets. That big pile of cards there is all duplicate cards from the AEW boxes. Best the WWE number one that I got a long time, probably in like 2014, these cards. But we have Cena there, Orton, and The Undertaker. But moving on up is my figure shelf. These have all my Elites and Ultimate Editions that I have so far in the collection. I don't know what Sean's arm's doing there. But the Iconics up in front with Kurt Angle, Cena, The Fiend, Rollins, Taker. But behind them, we have an Adam Cole autograph, Brian Myers autograph, and Enzo Amore autograph, which I got when I met him. Going on up, we have my Funko Pop collection. Feel free to pause. But also this Britt Baker Blood and Guts figure and those mini figures like you saw down below. But feel free to pause on my Funko Pop collection. And last but not least, last but not least over here, we have my AEW Forbidden Door poster. One of my favorite items in the collection. And you can see me, hi. You can see Dan Housen just creeping out there. Very nice, but very evil. And then there's my bed. We have my old WWE blanket. I'm like, oh, I'll throw this on for this video. But this is from 20, like 12 in that cloth for my glasses. But let's move my lamp out of this shot. And up next, we have all my souvenir cups from pretty much the games I've been to. Like this up is the games I've been to. And then these some or those that I found at a like thrift store, some film fingers. And then going down here, we have Sports Illustrated stuff, complete guides, WWE Encyclopedia this actually is, as you can see there, I'll put out a little bit. Guinness World Records, Marvel, because I'm a Marvel fan if you didn't know, Steelers Encyclopedia, another Marvel book. And these are all sticker books that I used to do as a kid. I don't know if any of you remember these, but I'll pull one out like this NHL one, 2014, 2015. Those were absolutely fun to do. Pittsburgh Penguins yearbook from 2021, 22. Here you go. Oh, I've got pennies on there. But that has like the whole team there. Pittsburgh Steelers game day programs from all the games I was at this year. The dates are right down there. The spine of these sticker books are very old as you can see, but WrestleMania 31 program, collector's edition, or like I wasn't there, but it was a magazine, like some old magazines from WWE back in like 2017, 2016, maybe 2018. But as you can see, those are there. Speaking of WWE, all my Pro Wrestling Illustrated are here, or yeah, Pro Wrestling Illustrated. They're all there. Like this is from 2020 probably, or April, 2021. So I know these were older. And then my most recent one, which is probably not but pretty old now. Yeah, December 2021. So I didn't get any in 2022, which I'm very disappointed. But I'm definitely going to be getting more because in 2023, which is this year, I'm going to get all of them. But all my WWE programs, starting from my first one here back in like 2015 to my most recent one, which is a lot smaller that I got at Raw in August of the past year all the comic books that I got in the pro wrestling crate and then more Marvel and Guinness world record stuff. But on to my display case, starting from the bottom, just like Drake, we have my WWF smoking skull championship with the scratch logo and the attitude era logo, a night with queen poster. Cause they are my favorite band of all time. Steelers super bowl cups, Chris Latane bobblehead. And then the attitude era championship replica, 
Sidney Crosby autograph signed, like a little, um, what do you might call it? Then you hang up. Troy Paul Malu frame photo, Maurice autograph, souvenir ticket from WWE, AJ Styles gloves, Seth Rollins wrist brand, Greg the Hammer Valentine bottle opener, Steelers replica tickets from all the Super Bowls they've won, and then over there, limited edition WrestleMania 23 case. 2003 autograph ball, James Harrison, going on up. Autograph wasted wrestling, shout out to him. But he autographed this and I won a giveaway. Dr. Britt Baker when she first won the title. And then in there, you can see an ornament from her wrestling tees that I got at Britt Baker, me and my family. And then some of the greatest heroes of all time there, me and my brother. Chris Jericho, little retro figure, and Big Ben, and I don't believe, oh, there is stuff up here. Milko Mania thing, apparently this fell, but AEW kids belt, it looks like it's not standing. Miller Light can thing, I don't even have a bucket. And then, wrestling ring with all my basics in here that I don't know what to do with yet. We have Dean Ambrose, CM Punk, Ziggler, people like that, Rusev. But in front of that, we have my Fast and Furious, some old wireless earbuds, and then my box tower. Look at all these boxes and stuff that I need to throw away that are just sitting there. Also forgot about this, but autographed Marshall Falk jersey, as you can see, and there's the authenticity Beckett. It's just above my TV stand. So it's just right there. All right, Ace Army, that is it for my room tour. I know it was quick. I hope you enjoyed. It was really fun to make this. And I just realized, look at all this facial hair. I got to shave. Holy shit. But thank you for all for watching. I will see you soon.